my God. <clears throat> you guys, I only put a little bit on. Hi everyone, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified of all new uploads. I'm currently uploading five to seven days a week and I live stream every Sunday. No, not every Sunday, every Monday. So make sure you hit the bell. It's right next to the subscribe button so you don't miss out on that. Hopefully you are not sick of Fenty Beauty review videos yet. I know they are all over YouTube. I myself have done like five now. I did an overview, a haul, a foundation first impressions. If you haven't seen any of those, I will leave a link to them down below. But I really wanted to test these out one by one. I didn't wanna do it all at once because I really wanna see how they wear, if they hold up, my first impressions, what they look like. So today we are going to be talking about the Fenty Beauty Freestyle Highlighter and Trophy Wife. Or is it called Kilowatt? It says Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter and Trophy Wife. I love that name, it's so funny. And so, I already have all my makeup on. Um, I am wearing the Fenty Foundation. If you haven't seen my first impressions video of that, I left it on for 12 hours. I will leave a link to that down below. So I thought we would put this on, on camera. I've heard mixed reviews about this. People either love it or they hate it. They say it's too chunky, it's too glittery. I don't know. I'm excited, I'll give it a try and then I'll just leave it on throughout the day. I'll check in with you, we'll see how it wears, how it looks in natural light, how it looks with these lights and we'll just have some fun, so let's get into it. All right, as you can tell, I already have my makeup on. I am wearing the Fenty Beauty Foundation right now, so if you haven't seen that video, I did a video where I left this foundation on for 14 hours. I'll leave a link to it down below. I feel like because I'm very oily, my skin type is very oily, not moderately oily, not combo, very oily. I just did this makeup look an hour ago and I'm already starting to get oily. So I feel like to give this highlighter a fair shot, we should powder half of the face just to see how it wears when you set your face. Cause right now all I have on is foundation, concealer under the eyes and powder um, under the eyes, but I haven't powdered my face. So I'm going to use the Mac uh, Studio Care, B Care Blend Pressed in Dark Deep which is actually, I think it's a powder foundation, so I'm not gonna use too much. I'm just gonna do the right side of the face because I just wanna see if it'll wear longer, the highlighter, if you put some powder on. I'm assuming it will, but. So I'm not doing much, as you can see. Just this, that's it. All right, so right side of the face, we've got powder. Left side of the face, no powder. This lash is like gonna fall off. So let's go in with the star of the show. I'll show you some close-ups of it. It looks beautiful. It's a very bright gold with yellow. I don't know, it's more so yellow to me. It's like a yellowish gold bright highlight. This is not for the faint of heart. Let's swatch it. My lights are gonna kinda wash it out. Oh, you see that. Look at the lights. These, this is with my two lights hitting it. Look at how the light reflects that. And that was just a, just a like one, two swipe. So let's swatch it on the hand here. Wow, and it is currently 9 a.m. on a Sunday, and I'm gonna rock it, okay? I'm gonna rock it. Oh my God, that is so bright. Okay, here we go. That looks really pretty. I can see why some people wouldn't like this. Um, there are, like, it's not chunky, but it's very glittery. Like, very glittery. But it's not chunky. I don't think it's chunky. You guys see that? I don't see like chunks of glitter. I see like finely milled glitter in there. But there's glitter, friends. There's a lot of glitter. Yep, and I love it. You could bury me in glitter, I'd be happy. I think I was born in glitter. I'm one of those people that loves glitter. Like you can go anywhere in my house and you'll probably see little specks of glitter because I wear glitter all the time. I just love glitter. My boyfriend always has glitter on him. Like if I kiss him, if I touch him, I love glitter. So I think this is gorgeous. I don't know why people are saying it's chunky. It's not chunky to me at all. It's very finely milled. It is just very glittery. So if you don't like a very glittery highlight, you might not like this. Now, if you do love glitter, as I do, you will be in heaven. So let's put it on the face though. I'm talking it up. So I'm gonna use my Real Techniques, what is this? Real Techniques setting brush. I don't like using a fan brush to put highlight on. I feel like it doesn't apply as nicely. So I'm gonna use my Real Techniques setting brush. Just take a little bit here. 
It's not super powdery. Let's go, friends. Let's go. Oh my God. <laughs> you guys, I only put a little bit on. That's amazing. I love that. I know to some of you, you may not like this, but I love that. I'm all about it. All about it. Okay, let's blend it out. Let's blend it out. I thought I was going to need to put more on, but oh my goodness. You guys, that is beautiful. I love it. It is very pigmented. It's very, very easy to blend. It was like so simple to blend it out. And even when you blend it out, it's still very pigmented. And it's just a beautiful shine. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, let's try the side with the powder now. I feel like it's gonna probably look a lot nicer. I need to blend that better, but I wanna try the side with the powder and then I'll keep blending. If I'm being honest with you, this is actually like the worst time for me to wear a highlighter because I'm having like really bad hormonal breakouts, but I don't care. I wanted to get this video up for you guys. So the side with the powder was a little more difficult to blend, but that's as expected. It's still easy. It just didn't blend as much as the side without powder. It didn't blend as easily, but I mean, they're both, it wasn't hard or anything. So, um, I always feel like I put too much highlight on, but I don't care. I'm gonna put a little bit on the fronts of the cheeks, down the bridge of the nose and the chin, and we're just gonna beam for the rest of the day. How's that sound? Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, friends, I want you to look at the time. That's 9.25 a.m. on a Sunday and look at my highlight. So. I'm just gonna go throughout the day. Honestly, I feel like I should put on more. Like, I feel like if we're gonna try this out, I should probably do one side that's really, really extremely highlighted just to see how it goes. But I just think it's funny that it's 9.25 on a Sunday morning and I look like a freaking disco ball. I look like a Christmas ornament. I look like I'm gonna work the stage. I look like I have a date or it's nighttime. No, it's 9.25 or whatever. Yeah, 9.26 on a Sunday. So I think on the powder side, we'll just put some more because why not? If we're going to test this out and leave it on all day, why not just glow, baby? Let's just glow. <laughs> all right. So I think that's enough. So I have it um, in the middle of my forehead. I need to do more blending. I know I need to do more blending, but I don't want this clip to go on forever and ever. So I'm going to blend some more. But just so you know, I have it in the middle of my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, my chin, and on the cheeks. So I'm just gonna leave this on all day and we'll see how it wears. I have very oily skin, so this should get interesting. Um, usually with um, highlighters, they, that's the first thing to fade on me because my skin just produces so much oil and it just like wipes away. That's just what happens. So I think what I'll do is I'll set um, the side of my face with the powder. I'll set it with the setting spray and let's see if that helps. So let's see if the powder and the setting spray helps as opposed to the side with no powder, no setting spray. Let's see if it helps the longevity of it. But first impressions, like if you're leaving us here, if you just wanted to see how it applies, I really like this. This is very pigmented. I find it very easy to blend. I don't personally think it's chunky. It is though very, very glittery. If you don't like like little specks, it's not even specks, but if you don't like a glittery highlight, you won't like this. If you love a glittery highlight, if you like something very bright, very bam in your face, you will love this. I love that type of highlight. I don't wear highlight often, but if I wear highlight, I want it to be like, bam, you can see me. Oh my gosh, what is that gleaming down the street? Oh, that's just Nikki walking by with her highlight, okay? 
So that's the type of highlight I like. I'm being silly, but seriously, if you don't like a glittery highlight, stay the hell away from this. Try the highlight quads that she came out with, which I'll be reviewing in my next video. Those are a lot less glittery. This one though, this full size trophy wife, like you are meant to look like a trophy on your man or woman's arm. You're meant to glow. That's what this is gonna do for you. You're meant to shine bright like a diamond. Do we see what I did there? A little Rihanna reference. All right, I'm losing it. It's 929, I've had too much caffeine. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna blend this out a little more. I'm gonna put on a little more on the side with the powder and I will check in with you throughout the day. Should be interesting because I actually have a road trip out to the country. Well, I don't know if it's the country, I'm going to basically the middle of California, mid-state California, because I have a presentation out there in the morning, so I'll show you my room tour. It's nothing fancy. We'll hang out in the country, in the farmland. I'm gonna do a presentation at a hospital there. So, hang out with me throughout the day. Yes, friends, I know this needs to be blended more. I'm gonna go blend, and I'll check in with you throughout the day. All right, friends, I finally made it to my room, so let's do a quick room tour. I was telling you guys that my room was nothing fancy, but I didn't realize like it has a separate sitting area so basically when you come in this is the door quick room tour i'm only here for one night there's a nice little sitting area here there's a desk with a mirror there's a little kitchen area with a microwave which is great i stopped at whole foods to get my dinner <laughs> so i got what did i get i got spring rolls with shrimp i got some sushi, which when I get sushi, I never eat all of that rice because they say that's where like all of the calories come from is the rice. So I usually don't eat a lot of the rice and I just eat the fish. Then I got some fruit. It's like very healthy. Some gluten-free chickpea chips, which have any of you ever tried these? Sounds interesting. I have a gluten intolerance, so I can't eat gluten. I also picked up these like, how did this turn into a food tour? I picked up this sprouted bar. It's like all this good stuff, like non-GMO, vegan, nut-free, gluten-free. Oh, I'm also allergic to nuts. It sucks, I'm allergic to so much stuff. So there's a microwave in here. Very nice, I wasn't expecting this. This is the Spring Hill Sweets, by the way. Um, there is a little fridge and then probably just, yeah, a cabinet. I have to sneeze on it. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, sorry. So that's the, um, that's the, my mom's calling. Sorry. That's the kitchen area. And then we have a little TV here. And then this is the boudoir, the bedroom area, and it has a little picture there, which is cute. Then there's the air conditioning, which, oh my gosh, I'm about to tell you guys about. It is 100 degrees here. It is so hot. And then out here, you just have a view. There's another hotel over there. And then a little closet. And then over here is the bathroom. So there's me, hello, I'm already in my workout gear. <coughs> Excuse me, already in my workout gear. I'm about to work out in the room. We're about to talk about this highlight though. And then, oh my gosh, that I have, <coughs> I was drinking a kombucha with cayenne pepper and it's like in my throat and here's the bathroom. Looks clean, looks good to me. All right, so let me turn the camera on and we can talk about this highlighter. All right, friends, I finally got to my hotel room and I'm so sorry that this is my first check-in. I have some explaining to do. Let me show you what time it is. Just so you know, I'm always honest with you guys. Look at the time. It's currently 5.54 p.m. And what time did we put this on? Like 9 a.m.? I totally should have checked in sooner. I'm gonna sit in front of the window so you can see in natural light. First of all, I think I told you guys this, I am going through some hormonal ass breakouts. Like my skin was just totally clear two days ago and then my friend came and left and now I'm breaking out. But do you guys see that? Like it's not as a stark highlight as we saw earlier, but do you see how when the light hits it, it just looks like I'm shining? I mean, it's horrible because of the zits. Let's do this side, this is better. Um, like, it just looks really nice. It's not, like I said, it's not as... Can you guys see me? Let me lift you up. 
it's not as noticeable as it was when I first put it on, but I feel like as the day just goes on, it just looks like how you want a highlight to look. Like it just looks like you're kind of lit. No pun intended. Let's go look in the bathroom light though. I'm like out of breath. I was just on the phone with my mom. This lighting's gonna be horrible. But even in this light, you can kind of still see it. And in the mirror, what I'm seeing, it just looks nice. Now I am a bit oily. Um, I was gonna say it's gone from my forehead, but it's not. I don't know if you see that, but when the light hits it, it looks really nice. This lighting isn't doing it any justice. Let's go back over here. You can more so see it in the natural light. Uh, oh, hold on, don't fall friends, there we go. Oh God, I'm a new vlogger still. Is that gonna stay? Okay, so I really like it. Um, it does wear off, but it I feel like it just sinks into the skin nicely and just makes you look kind of like lit, like glowy. I like it. Um, I imagine if you're dry skin, it probably wouldn't look this way. Like I feel like it kind of just looks like I put on like a wet highlighter and that's just because I'm so oily. By the way, where I'm at right now, it's 100 degrees. It's very hot. I haven't been sweating a lot because I've been in air conditioning. So this is, what you're seeing is just natural shine. Usually I would put powder on or something, but I really like it. I can't believe after what, what are we at? Eight hours that it's still on my face. Like I can't believe that you can even still see it really because usually by this point when I've worn highlighter, it's just gone. It just disappears with my oil, so. I think we went from like looking like a very dramatic, bam, glittery highlight in the beginning of the day to going to just something that looks like naturally lit. I really like it. I feel like I look like I look like I've gained a lot of weight, but first of all, I have on that miraculous bra from Victoria's Secret. I promise you my breasts are not this big. And so then I feel like I'm gonna show, I feel like it kind of makes like my stomach look bigger because it makes my boobs look huge. There's a hotel across the way from me. They're probably looking at me like, what the, is this girl about to strip? So I'm so sorry I didn't check in earlier. I'm all over the place. I'm so sorry I didn't check in earlier, but like I told you guys, I had to drive three hours to get here. This, this is like slowly turning into a little vlog. We've got a room tour. I'm just rambling. Um, I don't know if I told you guys, but I'm in an area called Fresno, California. And it's so funny because when I told my coworkers, my job is in Los Angeles. I told them, you know, oh, I have to stay overnight in Fresno because I have a presentation. And they were like, oh my God, you're going to Fresno? God be with you. I was like, what the hell's wrong with Fresno? And they made it seem like it was like the complete boonies. They were like, there's nothing out there. It's so hot. It's just farmland and cows. People in LA, some of them, not all of them, they're so bourgeois. And I was like, oh my God, like, are they gonna even have like a decent hotel? They really had me worried. And then when I come here, I mean, yeah, it's not Los Angeles. It's not like a huge metropolis or anything, but it's just like a suburb. It's very hot here though. But they've got stuff, like they made me think like there was nothing out here. I just went to Whole Foods. I went to Sprouts, which is like a natural grocery store. Not natural, but it's like a Trader Joe's. They've got Costco. Like there's things out here. It's just kind of suburban, but my coworkers, they're just so dramatic. They're like, there's nothing out there except cows. There are farms out here, but it's just funny. And I thought my hotel was going to be a piece of crap the way they were describing this place. And it's actually really nice. It's just really hot, 100 degrees. So that's it for me about the highlighter. I really like it. It starts out very dramatic. And I feel like if I would have gone through the full process, like if I'm going to wear a highlighter like that, I'm doing the full shebang. I'm going to do powder. I'm going to do primer. I'm going to do... Um, setting spray. So if I feel like if I would have done that, it still would have had like that big bam in your face highlight. It's just because I didn't do a lot of that, that um, it's just kind of like settled in as like a natural thing. But I really like it. I like the way that it looks now and I like the way it looked when I put it on. Thumbs up for me. I'll leave a link to it down below. I thought we could quickly finish this video with some product review updates because you guys know I love to do that and I know you guys like to hear some updates, so let's do that. I did actually throw them in my bag. I was like, I'm gonna end this uh, video, so I'm gonna give them some product review updates. So let's do it. First up, whenever I travel with nail polish, I put it in a plastic bag because I have had so many nail polishes, like, 
go all over my luggage and ruin clothing before, so I always take that precaution. First up, you guys have seen me talk about this a lot recently. I'm actually, you can see I have nothing on my nails. I'm actually gonna do my nails now for my meeting. This is the OPI three-step process. Let me like get it together. I need to hurry up, because you guys, I don't know if I showed you, you guys are right on top of the, oh God. Can you see that? You're right on top of the air conditioning. And I turned it off because I didn't want it to be too loud, but I need to hurry up because I need to turn the air on. It's 6 p.m. here right now. Are you straight? Hold on, friends. Hang on. There we go. It's 6 p.m. here right now, and it's 100 degrees still. So I need to hurry up and end this because it's freaking hot, and I don't want, I want the air on. So it's a three-step process from OPI. So you start with this one. This is the base coat. You put that on first. And then I've been putting on this color, which is called Getting Natty on My Honeymoon, which is funny. It's just a really pretty pale pink. And then you finish it up with the top coat, which is the Infinite Shine number three. It dries so fast, so long wearing. I think I told you guys in my last video, I had it on for four days and it was still there. It started chipping on day four. So I really love OPI. You guys know that. I talk about them all the time. It's one of my favorite drugstore nail polish brands. I was thinking like, are there high-end nail polish brands? Yes, there are. I already know that, I've seen them. So I'll leave a link to everything I'm talking about down below. Next up, I just recently hauled this for you guys. This is the Clarins Double Serum. And this is supposed to tighten and firm and improve radiance and even skin tone, get rid of your wrinkles and reduce the appearance of pores. I used it for the first time last night and it just feels really nice. I know that they just recently reformulated it. I actually heard about this on, Cla uh, what's her name? Caroline Herons. I for always forget how to say her name. Caroline Herons um, blog and her YouTube channel. She talked about this. So I'm going to keep using it and I'll give you some updates. But so far, I really like the way it smells and I love the way it feels. It just smells very clean, very classic and I love the way it feels. I'm gonna keep using it. I think you can use it in the morning and the night. I've only been using it, I only used it at night, but I think you can use it in the morning too. So I'll keep on using it and I'll give you some updates and let you know how my skin feels. I think I also recently just told you guys that Estee Lauder sent me their Double Wear Foundation. This is a stay in place makeup. I think it says that you can like, it's. 15 hour wear. I've told you guys this. I think I told you in the last video. I've left this on for 24 hours before. This is in the shade 6N1 Mocha. I'm not proud of that, but I'm just telling you, I have fallen asleep with this foundation on many times and it was still on my face. I love this. If you're looking for a full coverage, long wearing foundation, highly recommend this one. This is full coverage though. I know some of you don't like full coverage. I personally love it and it's just, I've been using it for the last, I've been using this since it came out. Didn't this, well, maybe it didn't just come out, but I had just discovered it like a little over a year ago, a year or two years ago. I love it. I mean, I personally would use it as an everyday foundation, but I know most people would not because it is super full coverage. And lastly, I just hauled this recently. This is, look at how pretty that is. Oh, finally I can show you like a super close up. Look at that with the natural light hitting it. I'm just sitting in front of a window. This is the Kiko eyeshadow and this is in the number 208. It says long lasting wet and dry use eyeshadow. So you can use it wet or dry and it's made in Italy. Nice. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, let me show you a swatch. In case you didn't see the video where I originally swatched it. Let's see if my phone will focus. <gasps> Look at that, guys. That is so pretty. I think a lot of people also use this as a highlight. <gasps> Look at the light hitting it. Oh, man. That is so nice. I can't wait to use this on the eyes. I was going to use it on the eyes today, but I got so caught up in filming. I feel like I've got to try that as a highlight. Let's just put some on the nose. Oh, it just intensified my Rihanna highlight. Oh yeah. This is so pretty. I've got to use this the next time I film. I was gonna say I have to use this tomorrow, but I cannot show up to work with this on my eyes 
or as a highlight. I don't wear highlight when I go to work. So, all right, friends. I can't believe I've been talking for 11 minutes. Plus, I did a room tour. Plus, this video is just going to be long. All my videos lately are so long. You guys let me know in the comments down below for any of you that have actually made it to the end of this video. Do you prefer my videos to be shorter, longer, you don't care? Let me know. Shorter or longer? Because... When I do these product reviews, I know you guys like to see updates and stuff, but it makes the video really long. So just let me know. Let me know what you prefer. That's it for me. Don't forget to check out the videos that should be on the screen here. I'll put my face here. So if you just click my face, you can subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye.